<laughs> Pop, Pop say he swooped down like Superman. Saw you in that park. I ain't going to do too much bragging. You know how I go with that. TLP and the <laughs> Whatever. TLP, if you know, you know. That's right. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. All right. So you guys meet, y'all hit it off immediately. Uh <laughs> shots out to Dayton, Ohio. And <laughs> years later you have the big fella. Uh you got you got little Shane coming out. Your baby boy coming out, right? Uh when did you know maybe that uh he might be an exceptional athlete to where he can possibly be a Division One football player. Was his other other siblings uh, athletes also? Yeah, all of yeah. them were. Uh, Sean was a, was, a, was a great athlete. He didn't play in college, but it was, it, middle, was by, it was by side. choice. Um, he went to Syracuse. And um, <laughs> short, quick, funny story about about Sean, right? So. Uh, you know, you a dad and kids and everything, and Sean looked good, right? We talked, you know, good. He, he, Sean was was tall, fast. He grew much, much faster than Shane. So by the time Sean was a eighth grader, shoot, he's like six two and change. Um, what might be buck ninety, or well, maybe almost two hundred pounds at that point. So by the time he got to be a sophomore, junior, he off the chart. He like six four, two thirty. Cut nice. That's all, oh, man. I got me one right here. They always run all day long, super fast. So he gets to uh, his junior year. Good player, um, but I can sense like he's not in love with football. He's a good player, but he ain't in love with it. So he comes to me one one day. Now, if you ask him, he he don't remember any of this. But Dad, you know I remember and I got the story right. Yeah. He comes to me one day and is like, uh, Dad, you know, football's cool and everything, but um, I don't think I want to play in college. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? At this point, he's already getting one or two Division One offers. Or yeah. not offers, but letters. He's getting yeah. letters already. So I'm like, no, what you talking about? Said, nah, I don't think I want to play no more. I'm like, man, listen, you tripping. You think I'm playing for college. You about your mind. So I know you can go Division One. You can stumble into it at this point. Right. He's like, nah, I, ain't, I that's not what I want to do. So I'm like, okay, but just know I ain't paying for no college. It, you know, it's not going to happen. So you have to make it on your own. So he's like, okay, cool. Academic scholarship to Syracuse. Full ride. So. That was that motivation. Was like, in, yeah. in Syracuse. But it was a learning lesson, though. Yeah, Syracuse is no joke to get into. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, he got he in the new house. If you, uh, that's like their uh, college for um, it's, uh, uh, journalism, journalism, media. Number two college in the country for journalism. He got in there immediately. So, um, you know, like I said, I learned something. What I wanted for him and what he wanted was two different things, but his way worked out. Mm -hmm. So, nice. You know, yeah. when you you know when you come to pushing them, I guess you know you, it was just a learning lesson. To uh, sometimes, well, you should listen to them all the time. Daughter, she played um, Division One uh, basketball at um, University of North Carolina Asheville, and then uh, then Shane. And my oldest son just played, and he played basketball in high school. He played football pee wee, but basketball was his thing. But he didn't he didn't play in college. Um, and then I totally forgot. Your, your question earlier, but backing up a little bit. Um, when Shane, um, so when I thought Shane had talent to play college football was probably the sixth or seventh grade is when I could see um, a lot of good things. I mean, at that time, he was actually playing linebacker. He was playing inside linebacker. Mm -hmm. So uh, he played that up until the eighth grade, played basketball. Um, and then his freshman year, he's still growing, so he moved to outside linebacker, but still played really, really well. So I was like, okay, this this dude, uh, he might have some. Um, and that that was the point where I knew that there's just depending on where, because um, I don't. Know, at, at at that time, and then you know now he's grown out of positions, but <laughs> because of yeah. the size, but he could play any anywhere in the front seven. 
at that point, you know, he, he, offensive line, linebacker, anything. So now he could probably play anything except for inside linebacker. But, uh, but yeah, that, that's when I knew that he was going to be a, 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 a good division one player. Yeah. When he got to high school at that point, that's, I always say you don't know, in my opinion, I don't think you really know what, you, what your kid's going to do until the eighth or ninth grade, because as you probably know too, you played with some play, playground all stars up until the seventh eighth grade. Some of them didn't grow anymore. Some of them skills didn't get any better. Whatever for whatever reason, when they transitioned to high school, it just didn't work out. So that's why I always tell parents because I I coached Shane up until I coached all my kids actually up until the eighth grade to junior high school, and um, I always try to tell the parents, you know, yeah, you're not gonna really know what you got until I say freshman. Freshman year, I would say, you know, you, then you know what you got. So, you know, if you're a parent listening, I would say that that's the point where you know if your if your son will be able to play Division One because he'll start to really stick out and stand out and start to grow on all those things. Um, so, so yeah, for him that that's that's what it was. Yeah, that's that's saying right there, fifth grade. Fifth grade. fifth grade. That's a big <laughs> boy right there in the fifth grade. Yeah, yeah. He, he getting it in the fifth grade, too. He was getting it. Dang. Getting it. Yeah. And we can see some of that Greek godness that mom was talking about. Right there too, old dad. It was hot. It was hot. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's CJ Pee Wee right there. Yeah. So <laughs> Shout out to CJ. When coaching as a, as, as a dad – and you're coaching your son on the team. What are some of those challenges? You know, we, we see Coach Prime coaching his son. We see a lot of, uh, should you even got Coach Mathis with his son on the team? I know it's not to that, I guess, extent, but it's still, you're coaching your son on the team. What are some of the things that you might, you know, maybe some challenges uh, there and maybe some, uh, some pros and some cons for that? So with me, um... I think in college it would probably be a little different. I would, I don't know how that would be. So let's start with with, with, with coaching up to the eighth grade. So my big thing um, has always been teaching and learning. So uh, Shane being a smart kid, an athletic kid, he was able to pick up a lot. And I think that's followed him up until today. Um, mm -hmm. I've never been a, I've never been a dad to baby my kids that's that's not what i don't do my kids i'm i'm the type of dad that's gonna, that's gonna be hard on his kids than everybody else i pull up on everybody else a little bit but i know my kid i know my his potential and i know what he can take and what he can't take so i'm gonna push him all the way and that's kind of how i was with with all of them um so um but as as time goes along um high school you know i'm, I'm I didn't want to coach him in high school because I wanted to sit in the stands and enjoy, you know, enjoy that experience. So um, that's pretty much what I did, you know, just coaching him after the game and, and after practices and stuff like that in high school. And then the colleges is uh, at Dartmouth and Colorado, just more phone conversation, just talking about games, you know, something you can improve on. And uh, I give good and bad. I don't just give you know, bad or something that you need to work on all the time. I, you know, I praise uh, good things as well. Right. Literally coaches, even, you know, even after the college games, they have a whole conversation. Yeah. After every high school game, I hated the ride home because it was a whole <laughs> conversation all night, a whole conversation after each game, every game, even with my daughter basketball, a whole conversation. <laughs> Now just, he gets to sit in the, you know, he got to sit in the stands <laughs> in high school. I thought he was going to, you know, he was going to chill out and relax. Nope. After okay. the game, it was a whole conversation. 